Let's do some kitchen science and explain one of the greatest mysteries known to man. How does an airplane fly upside down? In the last episode, we talked about how airplanes fly right side up using the flowing water over the wing to see how the wing directs the airflow down and creates lift. We didn't get in a Coanda. We didn't go in a Bernoulli. We only got a little bit in Newton's third law. So let's get the airflow going and we'll take the model pit and this time we'll turn it upside down and we'll put it in the flow. Now right now, it's at about a neutral angle of attack. Notice the flow is just going over the wing on both sides, it's laminar flow. Now I'm gonna push the nose up away from the ground and you'll notice that the flow is starting to bend towards the ground. This is where lift is created. This is what a wing does. It redirects the flow of air. And from Newton's third law, we know that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So if the air is moving down, the wing must be moving up. The airplane doesn't care if it's upside down or right side up. In fact, it doesn't even know. The wing is just doing its job. Now let's keep increasing the angle of attack to the point where we reach a stall. And you see the airflow moving quite a bit, bending towards the ground until we reach the critical angle of attack and the flow can no longer stay stuck to the wing. We have separation and there's the stall. And that's how an airplane flies upside down.